All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the garage. This is my 2017 Chevy Silverado 1500 4x4. It's my project truck. The thing's really beat up. It's got a ton of miles on it. I want to show you a project I'm working on today. So in here, this is the, it has the bench seat up front, but it has this flip down armrest. This is where your elbow rests when you're driving, and this is just worn out. I've seen other trucks that have this. This is super like hard and crispy. This just peels over time. So instead of replacing this whole lid, this is almost 100 $30, $140 if you want to replace this lid from G, like a GM part. What I found was you can buy a cover. You can just buy the cover, the actual material, so we can just take this apart, we can recover it. So let's get this thing taken out and we'll take it over to the workbench and put this new replacement cover on it. So first step, we open this up and we just pull this open. So these, you just pull on these little tabs here and it just exposes the underside of this. So we push down the latch here. That pulls down, it folds down like that. Then we've got a few screws here. We've got six. One, two, three, four, five, six Phillips heads. Okay, with the cover removed, flip it over here, you can see the six, the, the, the three bolts on each side. Just take those screws out comes out really easily. Now I'm just getting a uh, flathead screwdriver. I'm just going to remove all the staples. You will need a staple gun to be able to complete the job. So if you already have one, that's going to that's going to help. Once I have all the fabric freed from the staples and I have these four screws taken out of 1 2 3 4, that removes the top tray. We're able to take off the We're able to take off the, off the old cover here. And you see here's our new one. Matches good. Uh, it's a lot softer. So it shouldn't be too bad. Should glue the staple gun out put it on. Okay, now that I have my all the staples out, uh, I'm just kind of test fitting this. And it fits pretty good. I had to trim out this part a little bit. This part needed to be trimmed out just a little bit. So on the original one, it's kind of trimmed that way as well. This actually is a lot thinner section than this part here. I'm just going to see if we can get this to work. So I'm electing to put on this top cover first, so that way uh, I just put a couple of staples in on the sides just to just to kind of lightly hold it. I am using a air stapler. I have an upholstery air stapler. I'm using that. You could use a hand stapler. Uh, the plastic's really not that thick for these staples to go in, so it goes in pretty easily. So I'm putting on this plastic trim piece here. That's kind of the first step here once I get it on here. I have a few staples in and around the bottom just to kind of keep it in place. And then if I squeeze this down, push that in. I had to trim out this area a little bit. This area was around the screw holes was protruding out into here and it was making this come down more and it created big creases in it. So I had to cut out a little bit more in there in the corners, uh, being careful not to cut too much. but. So I've got the screws in, and it was a little wrinkled when it came, and so I'm not too concerned about this. I'm just going to pull it tight and kind of go back through and re-staple it a little tighter. And I'm probably going to have to put in more staples than when it came with because it, it looked like the original one had this has this like seam where it looked like it was like heated up and kind of ad adhered, whether it's glue or, or melted to this edges to help keep it down. So I'm just going to go through and staple along the edges here. So all these little holes that have this these slots in it, those we want to make sure we have those exposed to be able to hook into the panel. So we want to make sure those are not covered by the fabric. Just cut around those if you need to.
All right, so it took a little trimming, uh, not only here at the top, but also kind of around the edges, trimmed out these little spaces where the trim panel goes in, put some staples in, and it looks like it's pretty much good to go. There is a little bit of wrinkling right here, but it was just, the way this was shipped, it was kind of wrinkled when I got it. So I think there's just some heat over time that's gonna work itself out, but it looks a lot better here. So last step here for this, is I just wanna put this little rubber pad back on. And let's go get it put back in the truck. All right, just in the truck here, getting this uh, armrest screwed on. All right, with all the screws back in, we can now lift this back up. We're gonna push down on this to get this in. And then we'll be able to, s we just wanna push it down in all those spots there. All right, so there we have it. Fits good, goes back together, it latches. Uh, looks a ton better than the last one. Um, hopefully a couple of these little creases work their way out as the kind of gets heat on it, it stretches a little bit, but otherwise, even if it doesn't, it still looks a whole lot better. So overall, this was a pretty easy fix, guys. Uh, this cover was was pretty affordable. I think I paid, I think it was like $30 or so. I'll leave a link to the one that I have down below. But I, it required a little bit of trimming just to get it fit a little bit better. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You just it does require a staple gun, so get get some get like an electric or pneumatic staple gun. Uh, you could do it with a hand one, but it would be a little bit harder. So it is doable. But um, I'm glad that I did this. It may, really uh, makes the interior look a lot better. Uh, that unsightly gouge and peeling apart of the old one just made it look just made it look bad. So, anyways, guys, uh, be sure to stay tuned to the channel for more videos on this truck. We're doing a lot more things more modifications, repairs, maintenance, etc. on this. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, leave your comments down below. See the playlist to all the videos for this truck. I'll leave it uh, in the, the description also. And stay tuned to the channel. Thanks.